Well, on the right to bear arms, the ACLU's position is that there is not a fundamental civil liberty to unregulated gun ownership. And that's separate and apart from the big constitutional law debate that's going on now in a case before the Supreme Court. Uh, and it is important for people to, to know that the only past Supreme Court decisions that have discussed this issue and the vast majority of scholarship and lower courts and historians conclude that the Second Amendment was intended only to protect the right to bear arms in the context of a well-regulated militia. For us, that's of interest, but it's a separate question from should, do we think that a statute should be uh, passed to protect unregulated gun ownership? And the answer is no. And to me, that's not so surprising because we, even when it comes to something that we are classically associated with, such as freedom of speech, we don't say that, you know, there can never be any restrictions. Actually, no right is absolute except freedom of thought and freedom of belief. But once it gets out of your head and into the world, uh, the government may justifiably impose limits in very narrow circumstances. So if the government over-regulated uh, or discriminatorily or arbitrarily enforced regulations on gun ownership, we would be there. I mean, that would be consistent with our general concepts of due process. Uh, and in fact, we have often collaborated, including post 9-11, with the National Rifle Association, Gun Owners of America, the Second Amendment Foundation, because particular actions that have been taken uh, by the government against their members do, in fact, violate many rights, including, you know, to take some examples that come from earlier during uh, the Clinton administration, uh, the Waco and Ruby Ridge incidents were well-publicized examples of really uh, shocking government overreaching by uh, federal agencies that were, um, you know, violating the Fourth Amendment rights against search and seizure, using disproportionate force, uh, shooting to kill people who are simply suspected of exercising what is, after all, a legally protected right to, to, to bear arms. And um, there have been many examples of people's privacy being violated uh, because they uh, are exercising their now lawful right to own guns. Uh, the, the gun owners organizations have worked very closely with the ACLU in opposing government surveillance, um, the so-called Real ID Act that would create a national um, identity card in effect. So there's a lot of overlapping uh, issues even beyond that core issue of to what extent uh, can the government directly regulate gun ownership.